So today we are in Devon and we're taking you to the five-star hotel called uh, Bobby Castle. Um, it's quite a stately sort of building as you can imagine from the name. We're going to be staying in one of their rooms, the Grand State Room, and also showing you around the impressive grounds at Bobby Castle in Devon in the southwest of England. So uh, stay with us and we will um, explore what Devon has to offer when it comes to five-star hotels. So just approaching the car park of uh, Bobby Castle as it all opens out as we go through this uh, archway. We'll also be taking you around the grounds of uh, Bobby Castle as well uh, during the course of the next two days whilst we're here. So this is the main staircase taking us up to the room. All decorated ready for Christmas as well, being uh, mid-December. So welcome to one of the Grand State Rooms here at uh, Bovey Castle, located in Dartmoor National Park in Devon. Uh, this is the bathroom. So uh, just there you've got the toilet. Uh, plenty of space there to put your belongings and then just here in this bathroom we've got this uh, real large uh, bathtub there you can just imagine uh, having a soak in that bathtub and relaxing and uh, there you've got the towel radiator and uh, the towels uh, just next to the bath and then as we look around this part of the room uh, you've got uh, two sinks and uh, the mirrors there uh, underneath, uh, plenty of storage uh, with the cupboards. And then uh, on the top then, we've got uh, a drinking glass and another one at the other side. And then you've got a basket with a few different uh, items in there. So you've got some uh, conditioner and shampoos and different sort of treatments there. Some face cloths and uh, vanity set. So that's the first bathroom. I say first, there is actually two here. So you've got this one with the um, toilet and bathtub and the sinks. And then as we go across uh, to the other side of the hallway, the entrance hallway, we go into the uh, second bathroom. And in this one, uh, you have some towels just there. There's a nice tall uh, mirror uh, just there. I'll check in to see how you look once you finish getting ready. Uh, some more towels and then in this one um, you've actually got the uh, shower so let's take a look inside the shower and it's not just any old ordinary shower with it being a five-star hotel um, you've got the shower just there with the uh, rain shower fitting at the top and as we look around this uh, shower cubicle to the other side yep yeah, there's a second um, so two of you can uh, be showering here at the same time So yeah, two, two showers uh, in this Grand State Room. Um, there's about five or six Grand State Rooms here at Bobby Castle, and each one has its own character and is, is different, and they get allocated um, at random. And this is one of the Grand State Rooms. So also in this bathroom here, you've got some um, cupboards, wardrobes, and uh, shelving. So let's take a look in this first cupboard. I have to give it a good pull to open it. Um, so yeah, we've got some hangers down there. Also got the bag stand to put your suitcase on in the room. Plenty of hanging space as well. And then on this shelf, we've got the uh, hairdryer. And then we've got some uh, shoe horns. And then in this next wardrobe, uh, you have two uh, Bovy Castle uh, dressing gowns. So really impressive bathroom. So 
just to recap so far in this room then, we've got the first bathroom uh, that we went into on the left that's got the bathtub and twin sinks. And then in this one, on the right as you walk in from the uh, corridor, you've got the one with the uh, two shower heads. So a uh, good start. So walking on through into the uh, bedroom, let's check out this bed. So it's a four poster bed. And as we uh, go around the room, you see that there's a dining table in the distance there. Um, you've got a sitting area with um, armchairs, a uh, nice fireplace, and a uh, large settee there as well. So let's take a look at it in more detail. Just take a, a quick uh, pan view of uh, the room here for you, the bedroom. So starting on the right then as we come in, um, you've got uh, a couple of sockets down there, lower down, and a twin socket higher up. A bit, a bit of a ledge there as well, just below the wallpaper. So if you needed to plug in phones or whatever to charge them or any other devices, you can do. And then there we've got the radiator, bedside table with lamp, and um, telephone just there, contacting room service. Uh, housekeeping, the spa, there's a good spa here, uh, golf for reservations for the golf course. Again, it's a really good golf course apparently. I'm not a golfer, so I'll be staying way, way away from that uh, golf course. I'm the last person that they will want on the greens, um, chipping up all the grass for them. So I'll be staying away from that. So just check out that four poster bed. Really impressive. They also have quite a few weddings on here at Bovy Castle. When we arrived today, about 20 minutes or so ago, uh, there was a couple just uh, speaking to the uh, officiators, just confirming their details. So they was about to get married at probably three o'clock this afternoon, so wishing them well as well. And it's a fantastic place to um, get married. Um, one of the famous people that you may know, uh, British, British diver Tom Daly and his husband Lance, uh, they both got married to each other obviously here uh, at Bovy Castle a few years ago. And there's probably been other famous people as well, but uh, they're the only ones I can think of off the top of my head. So that's the bedroom side of it. Um, this is the only room at Bovy Castle that actually has an outdoor balcony. So we've uh, been really lucky to get this, uh, this room here. So uh, we, we will go outside and take a look at it. Just gonna do that bolt and uh, let's head on, head on out. So there's a couple of steps taking you down onto the balcony. and you get a table, two chairs. And then also, okay, it's mid-December, we're not gonna be using those, but you can imagine that in the summer when it's really nice weather, uh, those sun loungers would come in quite handy. So you could be there just uh, having a sunbathe and just look at the actual building as well. So Bovy Castle, it's probably the least looking castle I've seen, but even so, it's still really nice and the architecture as well. And if we take a look at this view from the balcony, it's absolutely stunning. So let's uh, head on back into the room. So this is uh, again, a grand state room. And like I say, it's the only room um, with an outdoor balcony. So let's carry on. And then if we walk over here to this part of the room, um, there's a dining table, and the dining table looks like it uh, seats six people. It's absolutely stunning. Only two of us here today, but also if you've got friends and family that are staying in the hotel with you, then it could be really useful to have a, a large table uh, for a family gathering or for friends. Um, nice little welcome gift here, a bottle of champagne and two glasses. Uh, even better, Kev doesn't drink, so I'm gonna to have to uh, try and get this uh, champagne finished off before it goes flat. Um, one of the other things that they have here in the rooms, in all the rooms at Bovy Castle, is they have slow gin. Uh, one of the activities that you can do here is cider making and slow gin making. They've got a barn on site, and we've, we've done it before, it's actually really good fun and you, you crush the apples and you make your cider and then they give you some uh, from what people have made in the past 
uh, to try, but really good. So here, as you can see, some handmade, uh, homemade truffle popcorn. So we'll try that a little bit later as well. And a couple of oranges just there as well. So that's the dining table area. And you may have caught a glimpse of this view. So let's take a look through the windows here. And um, you can see down there, there's some outside um, tables and chairs. You can just imagine how nice it would be sitting out here in the summer, enjoying a nice cold drink, maybe pims and some strawberries and cream. And then over here, looking out this window, looking out down onto the 18th hole, just over the, uh, the water there. And uh, we'll take you outside a little bit later in this uh, video as well, show you around the place. It's absolutely really impressive. So that's the views from the window. And then as we come around here, we've got the um, desk uh, with its chair and the TV there is over the top of it. Taking a closer look then, so you've got a Dyson heater and cooler. Um, one of the things with these rooms, there's no air conditioning in, in any of the rooms here at Bovy Castle, but uh, they do provide you with a, um, a heater fan by Dyson and also a, a cold fan. It doesn't create cold air as such, but um, it, it acts as a good fan and they're, they're really good as well. So what else do we have over here? So we have the uh, coffee maker, the, uh, I think it's an espresso machine. And then just in here, we've got the pods, which we filled up each day. So always nice to start your day um, with a coffee. And then just there, it's telling you about the uh, different activities you can do by scanning the QR codes and looking on there. And a nice little bottle of water. And it's also saying here that uh, you, you can get all the guest information on the TVs. And you've got a couple of sockets there and HDMI sockets and uh, things like that. And uh, a little mirror there as well. And uh, we'll take a photo of this, but we've also got a map um, of the estate as well. So uh, we'll be taking you around the estate over the next uh, day or so. Looking across here then, we've got the, the living room area. It has uh, two armchairs and a set, uh, settee or sofa. It's a really nice lounge area. And that fireplace as well. Absolutely stunning with that large uh, mirror over. So you may have just caught a, a glimpse of a couple of magazines there on the table. So uh, we've got uh, one about wallpaper or something. I'm sure there's a bit more to it than just wallpaper. And then the other one, which is the British uh, Travel Journal. And then the other one, enjoy Dartmoor. Because of course we are in Dartmoor National Park, famed for its hills and mountains and uh, walks that you can do and the animals, the wild ponies that are there and the, the big cows and cattle and sheep. Um, so coming over here, let's have a look what's in this one. So in here then you've got your uh, teacups and you've got your filter coffee and tea bags and what looks like some really nice biscuits. So we'll, we'll be giving those a try at some point. Also, you've got some uh, calamile tea, some English breakfast tea and peppermint. And then in this little cupboard just down here, let's have a look what we've got in here. Just open the second door. So down here then, you've got the uh, room safe. You've got a kettle at the back there and some glasses. And then you've got the little uh, fridge. And in the fridge, they're storing in there the milk and the complimentary water that you get as well. So no mini bar in here as such, but to be honest, we have got the complimentary bottle of champagne. We have got the slow gin and the bar is literally just downstairs. So we could take a walk down there if we wanted anything as, as well as room service as well. So that is the one of the grand state rooms here at Bovy Castle on Dartmoor National Park in Devon, right down here in the southwest of England. So that is the room. We're going to head out shortly and uh, show you around um, the estate as well. And we we're also booked in for some dinner and afternoon tea tomorrow. So we'll be showing you afternoon tea as well later on in this video. So do keep watching it. It's uh, going to be some absolutely fantastic food and uh, showing you around the hotel more and also the grounds. So here's the stunning Bovy Castle here in Dartmoor National Park in Devon. It's getting late in the day at the moment. 
um, but uh, even in this light it absolutely looks fantastic. We'll show you around more of it as well uh, when it's a little bit lighter tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime let's take you um, around to the other side of it and uh, we'll see these fantastic views literally just around the corner. But uh, yeah, so Bobby Castle, it's not the sort of castle I first thought it was until I first came here and saw it. It's kind of got some like little, uh, I don't know what you call them, you call them turrets? Those little uh, bits at the top. But I had kind of uh, visions of it being a big castle with the drawbridge and a moat and all that sort of thing that you see in storybooks. But um, no, it's, it's like a big stately home in a roundabout way um, with turrets and stuff. Uh, just over there you can see Smith's Brasserie. That's uh, one of their eating uh, establishments. Um, some really good food in there as well. We'll show you in there um, later on in the video. Also here as well, may, uh, you may find it interesting to know that they've actually got their own helipad. So if you fancy not driving through the tight lanes of Devon, then if, you, if you've got one, or you can afford to hire one, you can always come here in your helicopter. And as you look down the main drive down there, um, the helipad is down there towards the right. Um, so you haven't got too far to walk and they'll probably actually pick you up in a, in a golf buggy. So let's check out some of these views here, looking out onto the uh, golf course. So it's the uh, Bovy Castle uh, golf course just down there. And it, it goes around quite a while. And apparently it's quite a good one. I'm not into golf myself, but uh, if you are, um, you'll probably appreciate that this is actually quite a good place for golf. Uh, so much so they probably wouldn't even let me on it, so I'm not even going to try. I struggle with crazy golf, but uh, yeah, so there's some of the, uh, the views of the golf course. And uh, we'll check out some more in a moment. And uh, as the sign says, the golf, golf shop is uh, just down the road there. So there's a view looking back at Bovy Castle. Really beautiful place. Uh, let's head on around the corner and take a look around the front. So walking around the side of the building now, and there you've got the uh, pro golf shop. Also looking up at the building, you've got outdoor seating area for in the nicer weather um, for Smith's Brasserie. With your really good lunches and uh, evening meals. Uh, plenty of golf carts as well, so if you don't want to walk all that way, uh, you can hire the, the golf carts. So a bit of a sunset just starting to happen in the distance over there. Just check out these golf carts. I just want to jump on one and take one for a bit of a joy round, a joy ride around Bobby Castle, but I don't think uh, it will be allowed. I think it'll be quite frowned upon. Uh, this round bit just coming out around here, that is the swimming pool. And uh, above that is uh, some more seating area, outdoor seating for um, Smith's Brasserie. So you can go there for just for a drink or for food. But really good service. So as we come around this corner then, it all opens out and you will see, um, it's kind of like the back, but to be honest, it's probably the most impressive part of it, of uh, Bobby Castle. So as, as we uh, look across, that's uh, Bobby Castle. So you have, like I say, the, the glass glazing towards the, uh, the left there is the uh, indoor pool and uh, you've got this uh, pitch and put area just here and you've got the little sculpture he used to have a little golf club i'm sure he did um, but uh, yeah many a photo opportunity has been uh, taken advantage of just there so let's take a little walk and uh, we'll show you the rest of the views from further across here. Uh, 
and the actual room that we're staying in, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's two little glass bits uh, of the balcony, um, and it's just above those three arches over there. So we'll get a better view of that in just a moment. But yeah, it is actually one of the, the best rooms here at Bother Castle, so really lucky because they are allocated on arrival out of the five or six Grand States rooms. Some more uh, sculptures as well just there, firing the uh, arrow up to the skies. So up there you can see where the lights are on, um, that's the uh, where the dining room table is uh, in our room and the balcony uh, just up there. The food in the Great Western Restaurant was absolutely fantastic. But talking of fantastic, look at this Christmas tree in here as well. Um, absolutely stunning um, what they do for Christmas here at Bovey Castle. And uh, yeah, absolutely love coming here, especially in December to uh, take a look at the tree and all the decorations that they have uh, for Christmas. Also getting back up into the room, um, we've had the turn down service as well, uh, which is always great. And uh, we've also been left with um, some details of the activities that are available tomorrow along with uh, what weather we can expect as well here on Dartmoor National Park. Always good to know what the weather's going to be like because it can change quite quickly. So good morning from uh, Bovey Castle here in Dartmoor National Park in Devon. So it's the next morning and um, the sleep was okay. You do get some noise from the uh, public rooms downstairs um, but uh, yeah overall not too bad but just look out the weather I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera but uh, the sun is trying to shine but the uh, lashing rains sweeping across as the wind blows and again I'm not sure if you can see from here but there's uh, quite a fast flowing river down there by the um, 18th hole as well hopefully though this afternoon uh, the sun is uh, going to come out even more dry up all the rain and we'll be able to get out there and uh, show you more of uh, Bobby Castle. Time now for some breakfast and there's a great selection of uh, continental um, versions and some fruit there as well. Uh, really good. They also do an a la carte menu so you can choose what, you, what you'd what you like. Um, the full English breakfast is what Kev went for and that's uh, cooked to order. And then um, I had uh, Eggs Benedict uh, which was really good as well. There's also a gym uh, to check out as well whilst I was at Bobby Castle. Um, also a nice large indoor heated swim pool and a sauna and a steam room. Uh, people in there, so we couldn't film in there, but uh, in the gym, we got some photos there for you. 
after checking out the facilities of the gym and the spa area it was time to have a look around the other areas of the inside of Bobby Castle all trimmed up for Christmas looking fantastic there's also a shop that you can go into and uh, buy some souvenirs as well and check out the rocking horse as well um, they've got some fantastic things scattered around Bobby Castle and the toy train as well near the Christmas tree was really sp uh, special to see as well It's now lunch time so time to grab some uh, lunch um, before we have afternoon tea a little bit later so we've had to eat tactically so we've gone for a light lunch here in the bar area of Bobby Castle and we've gone for turkey and cranberry with it being uh, December so it um, looks really good and then we're going to head outside. So we've made it outside, uh, the rain has eased off for a moment, so uh, we thought we'll bring you out, show you around some of the grounds here at uh, Bobby Castle. Quite an overcast, windy day, so uh, hopefully we won't get too wet, but we're going to uh, show you around some of the uh, stunning grounds here and uh, see if we can see any of the activities that they do here. They may not actually be running today with the uh, weather being as, uh, as bad as it is, but we shall uh, have a look. So there you go, look, looking up the hill there to uh, the main building there, Bobby Castle. So let's uh, take a walk down the path and uh, we'll show you some of the highlights. So here we come down to the bottom of the hill and uh, it opens out to uh, a nice lake. You can just imagine being here in the summer, um, especially some of the people that uh, get married here and then they'll come down here for the uh, photos. So on this sign then you can see uh, we've got lodges and then the tennis courts to the left, fishing lake and the driving range to the right. Uh, if we just take a quick look over towards the left, you'll see some of the lodges uh, that they've actually got here at Bovey Castle. So you can either stay in the hotel or you can actually come and rent um, some of these lodges and some of them have several bedrooms in as well. So for a big family gathering, these are actually, you know, really good and ideal. And you've got um, outdoor balconies on them. Some of them, I, think, I believe, have uh, barbecues. Um, so, um, yeah, that's... Um, a look at some of the lodges there here at uh, Bobby Castle. So carrying on having a look round here and uh, you'll see that we've got this lake here that we were just talking about a moment ago. As it's the winter at the moment we're in the middle of December so it doesn't look quite as appealing as what it normally would but um, yeah it still looks nice nonetheless. So we'll carry on walking around and show you some more of the highlights. So here we've got the croquet lawn so if you fancy playing a bit of croquet, you can uh, pick up the uh, clubs, do they call it? I'm really not sure, they're over there. And then you can have a little game of, uh, of croquet here. Not something I've tried before, but uh, maybe in the summer, uh, we'll maybe come back and give it a go. Also a nice, uh, children's play area just there. Plenty of things to do here at Bobby Castle. And then we'll carry on round um, the path here. Again, just looking down at the ground here. It's been absolutely thrown it down during the night and this morning. So we're uh, quite wet and muddy in places. But uh, 
really wanted to come down here and, and show you what there is. So we'll just have a walk through here, see if anyone's playing any of these activities. So this uh, appears to be where they do some of the uh, uh, rifle shooting, I believe, and then they have targets uh, further down um, that you aim at in the distance. All these lovely water features as well that you get around here as well. So let's carry on. So as we look down here, this is one of the main areas where people get married if they want to get married outside here at Bobby Castle. And uh, you, you end up with a small walkway down the centre and chairs on each side. And then the actual ceremony takes place right down there at the far end in the little uh, structure uh, down there at the bottom. So uh, let's take a walk down and uh, we'll take a look, see what it looks like. So this is usually where the chairs will start, depending on how many guests that you've got. And just imagine walking down this aisle, it would take a minute or two, depending on the size of uh, your gathering. But on a summer's day, this would look absolutely fantastic and uh, nice and sheltered uh, from the bushes that uh, line it on both sides. So here we are coming up to the, the building itself, where they do the actual official parts of the uh, wedding ceremonies. Uh, usually they'll decorate them up on when it's a wedding day and uh, make it look really nice. But then as we turn back to look where we've just been, just look at the view you're gonna have. And the sun's actually shining for us now as well. And another outdoor activity here, uh, they've got uh, tennis courts here. So uh, if you fancy a game of tennis whilst you're away here at Bobby Castle, then you can do that too. So lots of things to do out here. You just need to pick a day when it's not absolutely chucking it down. So this is the long barn, and this is where they do the cider making and slow gin making. Um, we've actually done it before, um, through those double doors towards the right hand end of the building. Uh, it's really good fun actually, you, you uh, crush up your apples by putting them inside this thing, you turn the handle and it gets all the apple juice out. And uh, you make some drinks, and then towards the end you try some that other people have made uh, several weeks or months earlier uh, that's ready to drink. And yeah, a really good time. Everyone that was there uh, that took part really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, if you're here at Bobby Castle, there's one of the things to consider doing. I think they're at most days, um, but with a lot of the activities here, it's a good idea to pre-book, which you can do through their website. There's also things like archery that you can do. Uh, there's off-road driving. They've got an off-road course here and you go in a four by four and experience driving off-road. Um, there's also like clay pigeon shooting that you can do, uh, rifle shooting, it's uh, sort of like plastic ducks I think it is. Um, really good things you can do here for, for something different. So that's the end of the lodges there. And then looking up this path here, it's actually one of the old gatekeepers houses, which I think is now let out as like a holiday let for weekends and weeks, that sort of thing. So lots of options of uh, accommodation other than just the hotel. So looking around the back of uh, Bovey Castle, some fantastic architecture going underneath uh, another of their archways. 
and the goods yard where they have all their deliveries. So we're back inside now after a walk around the um, Bobby Cattle Estate and showing you around some of the activities that they have outside. Nice to be back inside into the warmth of uh, the hotel and uh, hopefully you've seen some of the um, activities that you can do if you're uh, considering coming to stay at Bobby Castle. Like I say, it is the middle of December, so it um, doesn't look quite as nice as it would in the summer. Um, but we're indoors now, out of the wind and the rain, and we're about to go downstairs to the Great Western Restaurant and uh, have some afternoon tea. So we'll show you what the afternoon tea looks like here at uh, Bobby Castle. Also, if you're wondering why uh, the names are what they are here, so you've got the Great Western uh, Restaurant, you've also got Smith's Brasserie. Um, one of the previous owners uh, of Bobby Castle, or indeed maybe the person who actually had it built, was the owner of WH Smith. So uh, they've kept some of the sort of names uh, and a bit of a nod to uh, that era with uh, Smith's Brasserie. And you've also got the Great Western uh, Restaurant. Just look at the menu for the festive champagne afternoon tea. Absolutely fantastic it was, really tasty. Nice choice of sandwiches and the scones and look at those cakes, those uh, Christmas cakes there, all decorated nicely. Absolutely fantastic, some nice warm pastries as well. Highly recommend it if you're thinking of having an afternoon tea in Devon. Good morning and welcome to day two here at Bobby Castle. And as you can probably see through the window here, it's another wet uh, day <laughs> in Devon on uh, Dartmoor. Uh, often it is, to be honest, in the winter, but uh, absolutely throwing it down to the outside. So, yeah, so we're heading home today. It's uh, checkout day. And um, what did we actually think to the hotel overall? Uh, overall, it's all very good. Um, you can't hold them responsible for the weather, um, but uh, we still had a fantastic time. Um, had some really good food here. The staff are really good as well. And um, yeah, th thoroughly good time. Room was fantastic. Um, if I had to try and pick fault with it, which is really difficult to do, but if I did, it would be, uh, for example, that uh, they are trying to be green with uh, drawing water from the River Bovey for use in the toilets and sinks and things like that, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but then uh, they're still using very small little bottles of shampoo and conditioner disposables um, when a lot of other five-star hotels have actually already moved to more bigger bottles to use and refillable bottles. So with one hand, they are trying to be green and uh, with the water system that they inherited um, when the present owners purchased the place. But they could also do that a little bit more and they're probably a little bit behind the times on that side. But that is a tiny little part of the overall experience here at Bovey Castle. And uh, only mentioned it because I was trying to think of something that uh, could do with being improved. Um, and was you know racking our brains what could it be and then whilst I was in the shower I looked at those like yeah you know what um, most hotels and places these days have moved away from disposable plastics uh, where possible and that's an easy way of uh, changing it so uh, that's the only thing really I can think about as to improving it all but uh, yeah we've had a fantastic time here at uh, Bovey Castle and I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've got anything you'd like to add to it, do add your comments below. We always like to read them and uh, where possible, we'll, review to, uh, we'll reply to them as well. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video, as I say, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And uh, hit the notification bell to be notified when we uh, release more videos. So until the next time, uh, goodbye.